Good day, my plant foldies. This is Richie at Grow Folds, and today we will be grocery store plant shopping at Kroger out in McKinney, Texas. As always, please like and subscribe to my channel. It definitely helps with the engagement, and I definitely want to keep posting daily one hour plant shopping videos for you. But as you can see, we are going to be grocery plant shopping. But as always, whenever we go to a grocery store, all of the plants are typically found in the floral area. So you will see a lot of like bouquets and different types of flowers. Now, Kroger is a local grocery store chain in Texas. You'll see that a lot in major cities. They're all over Dallas. They're in Houston. They're just everywhere. And um, I really like going to Kroger because I've just recently discovered that they actually have some really nice looking plants. Most of their plants are typically sourced by Mason Farms, which is a local nursery out in um, New Mexico of all places. So I just wanted to show you guys a couple of plants here. And then the first plant we are going to be looking at is a Spathophyllum or a Peace Lily. This one is by Urban Jungle. Um, I really like um, Spathophyllum or Peace Lilies. I can't really find the price for this one, but you notice the natural shine on the leaves and this one looks like it's about to bloom. Now with Peace Lilies, they can definitely tolerate very low light conditions. I've seen people actually grow this plant in a bathroom that doesn't get any like sun or really bright light. It can actually take very low light conditions. And now right over here, we have this really interesting like feng shui type ba uh, bamboo plant. This one is for $9.99. I do like how it's arranged. You know, they call it lucky bamboo. I actually like bamboo as well. It's an easy plant to grow. They do require quite a bit of light, however. And then um, we're going to be looking at some more gorgeous spathophyllum or what you would call peace lily. Now, with the ones, if you actually want to get a nice peace lily, I would suggest getting it at a grocery store like Kroger. Um, the one thing I will say about um, grocery store plant shopping is typically their plants are very much cost effective. Um, you can get some really good deals, sometimes even cheaper than like a big box store like Walmart. And so I am going to be showing you some more plants. Now, this one is a Jade Bonsai right over here. This is really cool. I do like the stoneware type um, planter it's in. Oh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> um, but anyways, this is a bo uh, Jade Bonsai. And if you haven't seen my other video, I actually bought a variegated type Jade Bonsai. This one actually is for... Um, a nice um, price it's not that expensive but you can see that this is a really cool looking bonsai for those who don't know the term bonsai bonsai is the form is a, like the traditional japanese form of putting a plant in a pot literally a shallow pot it could be a tree it could be some type of shrub you can pretty much make bonsai with almost any type of plant but typically it's supposed to mimic like um, forms of a tree in nature and this one is really cool this one i would consider as like a broom style type bonsai um, i actually made a variegated um jade plant into a bonsai i bought some pre bonsai at a local plant nursery store called calloways um I've, i have that in an older video so if you get a chance please check that out but um this kroger actually has some really cool looking jade bonsai so the only thing i would say about this is with jade you definitely want to give it a lot of um, bright light even direct sun full sun is really good for jade you definitely don't want to overwater it the soil medium you want to give jade plants are definitely fast draining i would give you uh, i would say succulent type um soil very porous soil that drains very well otherwise it would end up like root rotting but those are some nice looking jade bonsai um, and it's just amazing to be able to find different types of like plants out in a grocery store right over here is a pachira aquatica or a money tree i am definitely in a hunt for a variegated money tree like i wanted to buy just a regular green one but i've decided that if i'm going to get me a money tree i'm going to get one that is a little bit more more expensive just because of the variegation i don't mind spending that kind of money for like a really good variegated plant the fact of the matter is i have so many plants in my home i would say it's 70 plus plants since i started like video um youtubing the last two months and i've really got to downsize my my plants but it's just so tempting to buy plants like this one is an adorable looking ginseng bonsai ficus um, I like that. It's an easy plant to grow. This one is one of those types of bonsai or ginseng bonsai that like 
you really just rely on the base of the plant, the trunk. Um, it's very hard to style it um, just because I would say the leaves are a little bit larger than um, you know what you want for a bonsai but who am I to judge this is really cool I've always wondered though like how they get these stumps to be that large like does it take a while to actually grow now with a ginseng font ginseng font bon bonsai ficus you definitely want to give this one a lot of bright indirect light since it is a ficus type tree they always require bright indirect light um, the more light you give it the better off it's going to be um, you don't want to overwater it either and you know what i find interesting is all of these planters don't really have drainage holes but um like the spathophyllum the jade bonsai the um pachira aquatica um though those bonsai um, plants they are actually in like um catch pots so they do have drainage holes for that and with spring around the corner we're very close to spring although in the north dallas which is where i am based at if you're new to the channel it's already gotten into the 80s and tomorrow we're about to get 92 degrees so um i don't know if we're going to actually have a spring if we're just going to skip right into summer but you can see at kroger they are selling some cherry blossom or some type of blossom fruit blossom um, branches that are about to bloom so that's really cool my cherry blossom tree actually not really a cherry blossom tree it is actually a peach tree is starting to um, blossom i actually am just growing peach trees in my backyard because i like to see that cherry blossom look i feel like it goes well with my japanese maples in my outdoor garden which is something i will share with you on my channel but as you guys have seen every time i've done a plant shopping video you will see a kalanchoe i am just amazed and it's really interesting i've never paid attention to this type of plant but not only is this one a blooming plant it is a succulent and I didn't really know that. Um, it has some gorgeous looking blooms. There's an, a wide variety of Kalanchoe blooms, but I am just excited to learn more about plants as I do big box store plant shopping videos. Um, I am so appreciative to be able to share with you guys different types of um, plants. I know for the most part, most people who um, grow house plants are typically into aeroids, philodendron, that sort of thing. Maybe not so much into flowering plants or outdoor plants, but I do want to diversify the content I give you guys. Um, for my plant foldies, and if you're new to this channel, my plant foldies are basically the name I give to all of the people who have subscribed to my channel, who have viewed my channel, who support my channel. So I appreciate all of my plant foldies and the name comes from my channel, Growfold. So originally this channel was an ASMR origami um, paper crane channel that I've converted into a plant video you know just to plant content because the grow is basically the plant portion of my channel and the fold is the origami i will pepper some more origami in um, i typically fold origami paper cranes every single day that's kind of part of my daily routine alongside giving you guys plant videos um, but you can see i have panned over some miniature roses some kalanchoe some daisies um, I do like flowering plants or I've grown to like them as of late. Like this one right here is a beautiful cyclamen. Look at how beautiful the white blooms are. Um, now I've, I've noticed that cyclamen usually pop up more so during the colder months of the year. So like in the winter or fall seasons, but this one is not a bad price at all. Um, I have yet to grow Kalanchoe cal in my houseplant collection. I don't know if I will. I only have one flowering type plant in my um, plant collection and those are some indoor azalea. So excited to be able to have some indoor azalea and I actually got them at Kroger for $6.99 on clearance. Right over here, we have some Kalia lilies. These are beautiful. And I believe these are, I think, $14.99 in a six inch planter. So if you want to give somebody um, flowers, why not give them one that won't die in a couple of, you know, like in a week or two, actually have a full blown plant. So I really like that a lot. Love the lavender leaves. And then this one is not a bad price at all, $14.99 for this one. And that's the thing I love about Kroger. I love that they have so many beautiful flowers flowers like look at this right over here this is a beautiful looking mama this one is for also for $9.99 that is not a bad price for a six inch planted um six inch planter full of mums 
um, or chrysanthemums in Japan. They call them kiku. And in Japan, and the reason why I'm just referring to um, Japan, um, mums or chrysanthemums actually are a huge deal. They actually have some um, festivals. And you would be surprised about the hybridization that the Japanese have done when it comes to chrysanthemums. So de definitely do your research. Check it out. They have some YouTube um, videos about that. And I really find that quite interesting. But what is interesting is that this Kroger is considered a marketplace so it's like a little bit bigger of a Kroger and as you can see this is a smaller version of the indoor azalea this one is got a very precious looking pink bloom about it and this one is for $16.99 so I actually lucked out because mine was is way bigger than this and I got it for $6.99 I originally just um, wanted to buy the variegated sport one so that's the interesting thing so you can see that this azalea has green just plain green leaves the one i found actually has sport variegation and for anybody that's new to the term sport variegation sport variegation is basically variegation variegation that just randomly appears on a plant it's not necessarily one that would be that would remain stable but nonetheless it is variegation and i thought that was interesting i found a variegated azalea of all places in a kroger grocery store um, i did want to pan out here these are some crazy daisies or that's what it's being called now um to just kind of set the record straight you notice how there's blues and some very like bright um purples and oranges i would say the purple ones and the the blue ones are definitely and even the um green ones are definitely food coloring or these um daisies have been dyed they would take like a white daisy and basically um put food coloring in the water let it soak it and it dyes it so i actually ended up doing that um with um carnation flowers when i was in elementary school and i thought that was like the coolest thing ever and i am going to pan over here and show you some more um indoor azalea so i am going to do an update with my indoor azalea just to show you the blooms they've started to really bloom up and um, talk a little bit more specifically about the care tips what i'm doing with indoor azalea i will say if you're going to get an indoor azalea you definitely want to put it in a space where it gets it's a little bit cooler it doesn't really like to tolerate um you know hot condition so um, it's one of those plants that is meant to grow indoors but you do have to give it a lot of bright indirect light as well um but that's the thing mine are growing so beautifully in my home and i know i keep promising you guys a house plant tour for my house plant collection in my home but that's just going to take a bit. I definitely need to get my things organized. I am taking a vacation um, next week. This weekend um, coming up, I will be going to Austin, Texas to do some filming of plant nurseries as well as just exploring the city. I love Austin. Um, there are some really nice places that I'm also going to video blog. So if you are a loyal plant foldy, please um, stay tuned for that. I won't be on the live premiere chats, obviously, on Saturday, Sunday and possibly monday actually maybe monday of next week but saturday and sunday for sure i won't be in the chat but that doesn't mean you plant foldies can't have um chatter in the live premiere chat so if you are new to the channel um this youtube channel is actually all about plant shopping i'm gonna have some plant care tips but it's really just a daily blog to also connect a lot of um, people who absolutely love plants and it's so much fun to actually interact with you guys during the live premiere chat um, and as always um, as my number one cheerleader at luke says please make sure you are smashing the like button for any of my plant videos it really helps push the my content to more um, plant lovers and it would be just amazing to see more people actually tuning in to the live premieres in our community um, i think it'd be a lot of fun i know that we've gotten as high as 80 um live you know 80 viewers during a live premiere i would love to someday see more than 100 plant foldies or viewers actually watching and chatting into the um, live premiere so that's just something i look forward to and as you can see i have panned over um, a lot of these philanopsis orchids 
I love Philanopsis orchids and it's just quite interesting to be able to see a lot of Philanopsis orchids at grocery stores, big box stores, because what I've been told, and let's just take a look at the price of this one. This one is for $9.99, but what I've been told about Philanopsis orchids is they're a little bit more challenging to propagate. So I am just curious, how are we getting such a surplus of orchids? You can find them at a big box store like Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, especially Lowe's. They have some diverse um, orchids, but look at how gorgeous the orchids at Kroger are. I would say Kroger is another place to get orchids for a very good price. I mean, look at the diversity of um, different types of blooms of these orchids. These orchids are obviously um, um, hybrids and I am loving it. I am living for these orchids. They're gorgeous. I would love to add a Philanopsis orchid actually to my collection at some point. There's a lot of things I want to add, a lot of plants, but I am a big advocate about making sure if you are going to, you know, take plants home that you've done the research on your plants. So, you know, the plant care, the lighting conditions, the potential pests that it would have, um, all of that factored in the fact that do you have the time to actually grow plants, you know, water them, do plant chores, like making sure you're killing the dead leaves, you know, not killing the dead leaves, cleaning the dead leaves, looking for pests, doing specific pest control, fertilizing the plant, and actually having time to just look in and admire the plant. Um, I actually ran into a situation, you know, years back where I was just adding so many plants, hundreds of plants, literally over 200 plants, in a home where it just overgrew the space and it just wasn't really comfortable because not only did i not have time to like take care of the plants i actually ended up um having you know lots of pest infestations which i was battling and it was just an endless battle and it just really like destroyed my plant collection so i was I took pretty much a hiatus for about three years from growing plants. There's only a couple of plants that have pretty much stayed in my um, plant collection. One being a Thai constellation, which is now about six feet tall. So that's one of my pride and joys. But anyways, I know I'm rambling through this plant shopping video, but you did see a bunch of like the orchids. Um, I like Kroger in the fact that they actually reduce um, plants or clearance them out so if you're um, at a Kroger or if you have local Kroger, uh, Kroger stores definitely check that out because you can get some good deals but one thing I will say is they have a lot of plants and cover a lot of plants for just like a table full you will be surprised about some of the plant finds you will see at just having one Kroger table like I'm gonna go ahead and start off and just pan over and show you all the different types of plants tropical plants they have um, the first one I'm going to show you is a variegated Peperomia obtusifolia. This one is for $9.99, not a good looking um, Peperomia. And I like this because this is one of the more hardy Peperomias. They actually remind me of Hoya because if you touch the leaves, they're very thick and waxy. And I love the variegation on this. What I also like about this plant is just how round the foliage is. Now, care tips would be um, de definitely bright indirect light water this when it's completely dry um, and that's basically it now as far as pests this isn't nearly as susceptible to spider mites as other peperomia and um, I would say the more light you give this particular plant the more beautiful variegation it will push out it's actually influenced by light and not necessarily like variegation on the stems and then this one right over here I wanted to show you is a very interesting looking peperomia. And do you see this little tail looking thing? That is actually the blooms of a peperomia. They look like rat tails. And this one is a um, peperomia for $9.99. Not a bad looking one, but I did want to show you that. It kind of looks weird having that little rat tail looking thing. Um, but that is the flower or bloom of a peperomia. I do like this peperomia, just of the red undersides. Also, just the silver foliage is really nice as well. And then what else do we have here? So we are going to be looking at a hedra helix, guys, or what I call a hedera helix, which is the correct term for um, an English ivy. But this one is just a typical green one. This one is for $9.99 in a four and a half inch planter. Really like this one. This one reminds me of the nature's way English ivy that can be seen in ceramic planters at Home Depot's. Um, I do find that Mason um, Farms plants 
our tropical plants that they've sourced out to Kroger are super healthy and lush. So like kudos to Mason Farms for that. And right over here is one of my favorite plants. Honestly, it really is. This is a polia or an aluminum um, plant. I love the silvery foliage. This one actually goes very well. This one is in a four and a half inch planter for $9.99. I'm um, not a bad looking one at all. I actually got one from Kroger a little while back and I am just so excited to see it grow. Now with polia or aluminum plants, they definitely want to keep their soil moist. Like you don't really want to let it dry out completely. Otherwise it will start to droop. So they are a very thirsty plant. Um, but even so, I love it and it's very easy to propagate. And then here is another palm. Um, this one is um, for $9.99. It's a little tiny palm. That's really cute. Now with this, I definitely will tell you if you're going to grow this plant, it definitely needs a lot of bright light to really um, do well. And unfortunately, this particular plant is a little bit more spider mite prone than the typical palm. So just have to watch out for that. And then um, we've been seeing this a lot and that's basically the philodendron pink marble princess. So supposedly this one has higher variegation, but as you can see, it doesn't have nearly as much variegation as some of the other pink princess I've seen. Um, when Kroger just first released it, they had tons and tons of um, philodendron pink marble and I thought that they were just gorgeous, but as of late, their um, quality of like variegation is not nearly as much to be a philodendron pink marble and then this one is a beautiful looking fern look at how feathery delicate the leaves are and you can see that the lighter growth is basically the new growth that's been pushed out I have no idea what the plant care tips are for this one, but I will say that I am um, pretty much certain this plant requires quite a bit of humidity for it to really do well. I could see this plant like browning and crisping up if it doesn't um, get a lot of humidity or more so if you underwater it. You definitely want to keep the um, soil moist. And I'm going to um, pull this out. This is a Croton Petra. Um, this one is also for $9.99 in a four and a half inch planter. So um, with Croton Petra or Crotons in general, they are actually considered more of an outdoor plant. They can literally be grown out in the landscape. Um, if you are in an area where you don't get harsh winters, um, I don't know all of the zones, but you can grow this um, year long in full sun. I actually have grown Croton in full sun. Um, in texas north texas and it does very well um the variegation is really influenced by the amount of light a croton receives so just fyi on that and then we have a polka dot plant splash red this one is for 9.99 i think that these are gorgeous i've seen a lot of like exotic angels costa farms releases but you know mason farms also has some good looking polka dot plants the thing is this plant is actually difficult to grow long term and this is a very interesting looking fern and actually a fern that i might add to my collection it might be one of my first ones i might add this is a button fern um, really like just how like the leaves look and this one is for $9.99 right here the button fern they have a lemon button fern that's a little bit lighter but look at how cool that is um, they kind of like remind me of moringa leaves or um, in the Philippines which is where I'm from or my family's from they call it malungay um, they kind of have those round looking leaves but this really looks super cool for a fern I don't know all of the care tips for that so my plant foldies that grow ferns if you can, please share the um, plant care tips in the comments. Or if you are on the live premiere chat, please, um, you know, share any plant care tips for that particular fern. And I wanted to show you this really nice looking Hedra Helix, guys, or Hedera Helix. You know, I've been um, given a little bit of flack about just not um, pronouncing that word correctly so i just wanted to make sure that i'm saying it correctly but this is a gorgeous looking english ivy you know i had a plant um foldy or a viewer asked me why i like um uh, you know english ivies especially since they're very finicky and grown outdoors they can be very invasive honestly i like english ivy because they remind me of maple leaf um leaves and i love maples um that's basically it and they have really cool variegation 
Right over here is another variegated Peperomia obtusifolia. Really like what that looks like. This one is actually a little bit more variegated than the other. Um, this one is for $9.99 in a four and a half inch planter. I've seen, you know, Lowe's carry this. I know Urban Jungle carries this. Sometimes Live Trends carries this in some really nice ceramic planters. The only feedback and criticism or critique I would have for um, Kroger plants is I'm not a really big fan of Mason Farms um, plastic containers for, you know, catch pots for these plants. Like this one right here is a Diefenbachia for um, $9.99. I don't know the exact Diefenbachia, but I'm not really a fan of say the purple or the pink, um, the, the plastic containers. I just kind of wish that they would have been either more like simple white ones or even just neutral colors because some of the plants are just very, I don't think that the planters are doing the plants justice. And this one is a beautiful um, red marantha that looks like it just got done blooming. I actually found a um, silver band marantha of all places at um, a Target and it had blooms. I ended up taking a picture of it and posting it on my Instagram. And by the way, if you have Instagram and want to connect with me directly, you can send me a direct message at Growfold. So please add me on Instagram. I also do, you know, announcements on my stories. You can follow me um, during my day. I typically post a lot on the stories and you'll always know when we have a live premiere or even see some of my personal plants or some of my plant finds um, when I'm in big box store plant shopping. This one is an awesome looking Alocasia Black Velvet for $19.99. Like, look at how beautiful the, um, the velvety leaves are. This one's not a bad looking one as well. And you can see that there's some leaves unfurling. Now with Alocasia, it's very interesting because you would think that Alocasia are finicky plants. I really think it's just that you have to make sure that they establish and acclimate in their environment. Um, Alocasia definitely needs, you know, higher humidity. If you have a space or a room where you grow a bunch of Alocasia and maybe even Calatheas or just plants that require a lot of um, high humidity, just have a humidifier. It will solve everything. In my guest bedroom, I actually grow all of my alocasia. I've got quite a bit of alocasias now and they're doing just fine with a humidifier. This one right over here is an Aglonema Mary Ann. I like the green on green variegation. Aglonema are my favorite type of plants to grow just because they've got such a diverse, um, you know, just diverse, a diversity about their leaf shapes. They have narrow leaves. They've got rounder leaves. They've got different types of variegation, different types of color, different colors of their stems. But whoa, look at that. Plant fine, plant fine, plant fine. Did you see this? This is a variegated Hoya Carii at a grocery store. And this one is for $12.99. Not a bad looking um, Hoya Variegata Carii. Now, I ended up getting one for $7.99 actually at Kroger's. It was like a smaller, you know, smaller version of it. But I am actually loving me some Hoyas. I have not yet become a Hoya head or somebody was telling me that's the term for those who really get into Hoyas. But look at how beautiful and cute and adorable this Hoya Carii variegata is. And you can see some of the new leaf. Um, it's interesting that some of the really cool looking plants are hidden back, they're tucked away. But you can see that this table um, has some cool looking plants and you would never really imagine looking for house plants or at least when I didn't start paying attention to plants, whenever you go to a grocery store, typically you go to, go, you go to your grocery store so you can buy your groceries and you just pass by the floral area. but you can see that there are some really cool looking plants. Like this one is a nice looking um, palm and it looks like a fishtail or some fish, you know, fish pin fins. Really like that a lot. Um, Mason Farms, I'm curious to see what other plants they have. I'm gonna have to do my research and see if they have the web a website and see what they have, but they've got quite a bit of um, plants that they source out. Like this one right here is a Dracaena Marley. 
and the price is for $12.99, which is not a bad price at all, especially for this Dracaena. Look at how gorgeous that green on green variegation is. I love the stripes of it as well. It looks very healthy and lush and I am just enjoying being able to look at a, you know, all of these plants at a Kroger store. I know that these are plants that I probably have, actually not probably, I know that these are plants that I've shown in previous videos, but my plant folies, I hope you don't get tired of me just talking about plants and just showing you plants that you've already seen. Um, I just think it's really cool to, see, you know, show you guys this and just really to engage with you. Like right over here is another white polka dot plant. This is called a white splash, $5.99 in a four and a half inch planter. Um, again, this is a plant that gets very crispy and brown. So I'm not 100% sure what the like happy medium is to make it um, at least thrive in my care. I've killed quite a bit of them. And then here is another type of palm right here for $5.99. So I would say Kroger is a definite hot place to buy plants because you can see even here you can find Hoya Cronosa, Crimson Queen, beautiful looking Hoya Cronosa Crimson Queen. This one is for $7.99, which I don't think is a bad price at all. Actually not $7.99, sorry, it's $10.99 for a five inch um, potted up Hoya Cronosa crimson queen now with hoyas you definitely want to give it a lot of bright indirect light just because you will get the best coloration and variegation from any type of hoya so really nice looking hoya i've got one in a hanging basket we've got a zebra plant here and then we've got a beautiful um, spider plant this one is for $10.99 in a five inch planter um, i always find it interesting that you know grocery store plants always have that foil wrapping around the planters um somebody was just saying that it's just meant to be gifts so that's kind of like a way of wrapping it up and you know presenting it as a present i do think that instead of buying like a bouquet of flowers whenever you're gonna go give you know if you're thinking about giving flowers why not give somebody like this um snake plant right here this black coral for um $10.99. Um, I just think that giving, you know, indoor flowering plants or even just house plants, tropical plants as a gift versus a bouquet is cooler just because that will live on it with the right um, care tips and just right care regimen. Um, I am going to show you some more plants here. This one is another beautiful fern. Look at that. I love the round um, leaves on it. Very precious looking for sure. Very elegant. I um, have yet to get one like that, but that is another button fern for $10.99. Actually, the next time I'm at a Kroger um, filming, I might end up in just pulling the bullet and just buying that, but I'm going to show you some more plants. This is another Peperomia. This is a Peperomia Rousseau. Um, really nice looking Peperomia. Um, it's got some red undersides and I just love the texture of the leaves. The thing about Peperomia, as gorgeous as they are, they are also another plant that can get very spider mite prone and are just a little bit more finicky when it comes to watering. So just um, do your research on Peperomia. I prefer the Peperomia obtusifolia more so than that, that Peperomia, but you can see right here is another Hedra Helix, guys, or Hedera Helix. English Ivy, this one is the Gold Baby. Um, I have this particular Hedra Helix in my um, houseplant collection, and I'm actually doing um, a, the Hedera Helix Challenge or the Hedra Helix Challenge. That's um, one where I am challenging anybody who is a plant foldy to grow an English Ivy in your home. And I have this like running joke where I typically just gaslight an English Ivy just because they are spider mite prone and they don't look as good after like two weeks indoors, or at least in my care, in the past i've killed about 11 of them so like maybe number 12 is going to do well it's going on a month and i think my english ivy is doing well and i'm super excited about that i'm going to do some growth updates and even show you all of the preventative um pest care that i do for it all i'm going to say is i use a neem oil spray called protect by we the wild you can actually get that it's an amazing neem oil and it doesn't smell bad like neem oil so anyways more plant ramblings for you i've you know panned out and showed you guys just how this one particular table has so many plants um 
And you would just think if you pass by here, it's like, oh, there's some philodendron pink princess, a couple of common plants. But you would be surprised about what other plant finds you will see at a Kroger. This one is a philodendron pink marble. This one actually has some pretty good variegation, some pink splashing. And I do like that this um, looks healthy. Now, whenever you are looking for a philodendron pink princess, um, my suggestion is since it's a common philodendron, or we'll call it common now because I've seen it everywhere, is look for the variegation. So like for instance, this one is not really variegated. There might be some splotches of pink, but honestly, this one I wouldn't really buy because because if it's already pushing out mostly green leaves, it's going to continue to do that because philodendron pink princess, it's not about the amount of light you give the, um, the actual plant. This one is really based on its specific genetics. So um, definitely take a look at that. And I would say all of these philodendron pink marble are acclimated TC plants or tissue cultured plants i don't really have anything against tissue cultured plants um but i will say they're not as healthy or hardy as um like an original like propagated plant from maybe a node cutting or something anyways that, that just gets a little bit more technical but that's what i was told and um i've heard that a lot but check this out this is a huge um staghorn fern hanging basket and guess how much it is this is by urban jungle $12.99, $12.99. So Urban Jungle hanging baskets are typically seen at grocery stores. I've seen them at Kroger stores. I've seen them at Sprouts, which is another local um, grocery store in the North Dallas area. And it's just interesting how it's $12.99 as compared to maybe Acosta Farms, Trending Tropicals, or um, Exotic Angels hanging basket for $19.89. Now, Spathophyllum, absolutely love it. Look at how huge Peace Lily um, leaves get. And here we have a, one of my favorite Epipremnum ariums. This is an Epipremnum arium um, Enjoy or an Enjoy Pothos. This is actually mislabeled as a Pearls and Jade Pothos. And this one is for um, $12.99. Really love the look of this plant. Pearls and Jade has more like splotchy variegation. This one, the Enjoy, has more like very um, stark contrast on the white and green. And I really like that. It is one of the more slower growing um, pothos. Pothos are typically very vigorous in growth and very easy to propagate. And then we have some more ginseng um, ficus here in bonsai containers. We've got a Pachira aquatica in a bonsai shallow pot. So that's really cool. Um, you just have to be mindful that they don't have um, drainage holes. So I'm not sure if it's also in a catch pot. And look at this right here. This is a Ficus Elastica Burgundy. I love Kroger plants just because anytime I see Kroger plants, there's never one that's like dying, um, not to gaslight Walmart or even Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, grocery store plants typically are very healthy and i think it's because they um, treat um, the floral department as if they are perishable um, fruits or vegetables they really look at the freshness of the plant um, i like the fact that kroger does reduce plant pricing if um, the plant is starting to decline in health i've actually been able to find um, an epipremnum arium neon pothos for a dollar 80 in a six inch planter and it's doing fine for me this one is a Begonia Rex um, by Mason Farms. Um, it, this one is for $10.99. Really love me some Begonia Rex. I'm still trying to get, uh, you know, a hang of it. One of my Begonia Rex actually is losing some of its leaves, but then I can also see that it's growing new leaves. The thing that I will say about Begonia Rex is never top water it, never get the stems wet, never get the leaves wet. Otherwise, they will crisp up, burn up, and rot. So just FYI. And then this is another um, Epipremnum Arium Enjoy. Look at how beautiful that variegation is. That one is such a beautiful, stunning plant. It's a stunner of all of the pothos. Very interesting to see this grow on a moss pole or a totem pole or a plank because with Epipremnum Arium or pothos plants, they really size up and get very large leaves as they continue to grow up a pole and let their aerial roots attach to it. And then here's another beautiful bromeliad here. Love the actual contrast of it. And look at this. This is a ZZ plant bonsai. Nice looking one as well. Um, very nice looking 
arrangement. I actually think those two together would make a good arrangement, except I'm not a big fan about the purple um, planter. Not a fan of it at all. And it's uh, the fact that it's plastic as well is just a double no for me. And then right over here, we've got uh, Philodendron Mykins for $12.99. I think this is such a good price for a full six inch um, planter full of Philodendron Mykins. My Philodendron Mykins is so easy to grow. Love the velvet leaf texture of the leaves and um, easy to propagate. So I'm surprised they're not as readily available as say like this right here. This is a Marble Queen Pothos. This one is for $19.99 in a six inch planter. This one is actually a little bit more pricey than I would pay for a Marble Queen Pothos, but look at the half moon variegation of that. Very nice looking one. Now with Marble Queen Pothos, this one's actually on the greener side. The more bright indirect light you give a Marble Queen Pothos, the more cream variegation you will get. And then on the opposite side, if you grow this in a lower light condition, it has a tendency to potentially revert back to green. So just um, FYI, um, for the FYI for that. Now the Enjoy Pothos that you saw earlier, even if you give it lower light conditions, it won't um, totally revert back to green. And then we have another um, Dracaena Marley right over here. I actually like this Dracaena a lot just because of the green on green striping. And with Dracaenas, as I've always said in all of my other videos, Dracaenas are very underrated plants. I don't think a lot of people are growing them um, in their personal homes. You'll see a lot of Dracaena in offices like dentist offices, medical um, offices, corporate offices, just because it's such an easy to care for plant. It can tolerate lower light conditions. It's the same thing with this right here. I would say these pothos, golden pothos for $9.99 in a six inch planter is probably the best um, pricing of all um, areas that I've seen in the Dallas Fort Worth area in terms of just pothos I have been able to get some really nice plants at Kroger and honestly there's a couple of plants I would totally buy today but I am not gonna do that today I'm gonna do I'm gonna be good this one right here is always interesting so these are bromeliads that are sourced out by Costa Farms this is for $14.99 but look at how large the um bromeliad is i would say three feet at least in diameter and that's just a lot for a 14.99 plant um i don't really know all of the care tips for bromeliad so please leave in the comments my plant foldies or my um subscribers um what the plant tips are you know plant care tips are for bromeliads and then this is really interesting so this is another um lemon lime dracaena right here there's two of them actually and i actually love lemon lime dracaena um if you ever get a chance to watch my local plant nursery videos check out callaway's nursery it's a chain of plant nurseries all in the dallas fort worth area and they've got some huge dracaenas there i did want to pull this out just because i think this is so cool this is a calathea ornata I would love to be able to grow a Calathea Ornata, and this one is for $19.99. Actually, I would say this is one of the prices that I think are a little bit overrated and overpriced for a Calathea, because I can actually buy this at um, a big, big box store for maybe $14.97, or, um, you know, Callaway's Nursery. They actually sell a six inch one for. Um, I believe $7.99. So, you know, with Calatheas, I don't want to spend $19.99 on the Calathea like that size. I would rather buy the big um, Calatheas that are for like $24.98 at Home Depot. But I'm going to pan over here and just show you that there's only really three tables, but we've went through a lot of plans and I just am loving it. I'm loving that I'm given this platform to really show different types of plants. And I wanted to pan over here and say, what an awesome looking plant and then we are going to go to a second kroger location so i actually am filming this right after the live premiere so again thanks to everybody who is tuned in to my channel and just you know participates in the live premiere chats um as always if you have already made it this far please make sure you hit the like button to my vi for my videos and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel i've noticed that a lot of my viewers are still not subscribed i would love for you to hit the subscribe button as well so you can stay notified with all of my um, plant premieres
and um, this is actually a Kroger this is not a marketplace Kroger so this is a smaller type Kroger a couple of things I found out about Kroger um, grocery store did you know that Kroger grocery store stays open until 1 a.m which means I think I'm gonna do my plant shopping videos later in the evening when there's less people, just because again, um, it's just out of respect. I don't wanna put people in my plant video shopping videos. I just think that it's a little bit awkward. And then, you know, when you have all these employees trying to do their jobs, I, I try not to like get in their way. And then also on a more aesthetic note, I would like to be able to film, you know, scenes full pan out scenes where there's nobody in the background and you can just literally see this um the setup but as you can see we've um i forgot to show show this at the other video or talk about it but these are wooden type roses they look like real roses and i really think that that's super cool as well that they have like flowers that basically will not die um i'm gonna pan over here and you know that it's a grocery store so Kroger, this particular Kroger is off of um, Lake Road in El Dorado in um, McKinney, Texas. So this is another just regular Kroger. But what I like about this Kroger is even though they have just a small amount of plants, all of their plants are healthy looking. Um, this one's for $9.99. And then they've got some blooming flowering plants. Now, if you're going to take any of these plants home that are blooming, like the Kalanchoe and that other plant that I just picked up, you definitely want to put this in front of like a window or grow it under a grow light. Just because any blooming plant or any plant that produces blooms, the blooms actually suck away a lot of the energy from the plant. Um, an example would be aglonema. So I've talked about aglonema as my favorite type of plant to grow. Aglonema will produce um, uh, blooms. If you let the bloom stay on the plant, um, it will just pretty much stun the growth of the actual foliage, especially say on aglonema. Now, I don't know how it works with Kalanchoe, how often these floral Kalanchoe bloom. Is it like a one-time thing or will it rebloom again? I know that if um, the blooms have started to die, um, somebody said that you go ahead and just trip off, you know, trip, um, trim off, sorry, not trip, trim off the bloom, the dead blooms from the um, Kalanchoe. Um, and it will rebloom. So I, I find that interesting. What I also find interesting is just these beautiful Kalia lilies. This one has more of a dark purple. And not only do I like dark um, foliage plants, I also like dark purple looking flowers as well. I think they are also elegant and mysterious. These Kalia lilies though are only for $9.99. So I think that's really cool. And then we have a bunch of miniature roses right over here. These are in like a four and a half inch planter. These mini roses are only $6.99 and I think that's amazing. Now with mini roses, have any of you guys, all of my plant foldies or my viewers that are just watching um, this video, have you guys grown miniature roses in your um, homes, like indoors? Like I'm really curious. And if so, what are your care tips um, for the roses are indoors? I'm just afraid that, you know, in, you know, growing roses indoors would actually warrant a lot of different types of pests just because as lovely as roses are i actually had a rose garden and there was more upkeep when it came to like pests like you will get like black spot which is basically um like a fungal type disease if you actually water the of the top water roses that's one thing that you do not want to do is get the the foliage of roses wet because it will like invite fungus but you can see right over here, these are live transplanters. These are just your ZZ plants. These ones are for, I think, $14.99. And you can see the new growth is a little bit more um, neon. And I have to get one of these someday. I have to get this ZZ Zenzi plant. This one's actually for $14.99. Not a bad looking ZZ Zenzi plant. I like Kroger ZZ Zendi, Zenzi's, um, which is sourced by Live Trends because they're always healthy. I think ZZ Zenzi plants are also just beautiful in a sense that they're very compact and they truly can tolerate lower light conditions and they can actually um, 
handle neglect. Like if you don't water them for a while, they will not die at all. Um, I will only say with ZZ Zenzies and just ZZ plants, you could potentially get uh, mealybugs. And so that's just one thing that you have to pay attention to. But you definitely don't want to overwater um, a ZZ plant, whether it's a ZZ Zenzi, a Raven Z um, ZZ, or just a regular ZZ. Um, they don't like to be overwatered. That is what causes root rot and it will um, very quickly decline in its health. But very beautiful looking plants. And what I love about Kroger as well is for some reason, whether it's just the lighting that they have, but like look at this miniature rose, like the leaves tend to be shiny and they just shimmer. I'm not sure if they actually take like leaf shine and spray it on the leaves to keep them like nice and shiny, but I am loving it. And I actually um, quite frequent this uh, particular Kroger just because I am based in this um, area. And I, I just feel like these Krogers are well run. I love this Kroger because even though they have a small selection of plants, like this one's um, a Dracaena marginata for $6.99, um, they have healthy looking plants. Like I wouldn't be as nervous about taking one of the, of the plants home and not having to quarantine them and do all of that preventative pest stuff. Obviously I do that anyways, but all of the plants I've seen so far have just been extremely healthy and I am loving it. So um, kudos to Kroger. I can't get enough of um, Kroger plants. I love showing you guys the grocery store plants as well. And what I would ask is, for all my plant folies and viewers, have um, please share what local grocery stores you might go plant shopping in and like what plants have you um, found, like plant discoveries or plant finds, because you will be very shook or shocked to know that I found such a cool, uncommon plant and it was really tucked away. So make sure you continue to watch this video. And if you don't um, have it, if you haven't already, please, 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 please um, hit the like button for this video. You cannot imagine how much it helps just push my videos to more um, potential plant foldies. And I definitely want to see our um, our community grow. And this Aglonema right here is gorgeous for $19.99. That was an Aglonema Sparkling Sarah. And then right over here, we have a, a red Calathea, not a red Calathea, sorry, a red Marantha correction right red marantha and you can see that it just got done blooming this one is for 19.99 um i like maranthas i really do but i just feel like with my calatheas already i have so many um very you know diva-ish plants also alocasias uh, also like ficus i've got you know the height maintenance plants this one is a zebra plant which is also considered a high maintenance plant or at least that's what's been told by some of my viewers and um subscribers um are is a zebra plant actually difficult to grow because every time i see a zebra plant it looks perfect the leaves always look perfect so not sure what um what makes it challenging but apparently it is and then right over here we have a calathea lancifolia or a rattlesnake calathea um i've seen this get extremely large they were actually selling some at home depot um but look at how beautiful this calathea looks i love the patterns on the leaves um the green the neon green and just the green um i don't even know how to describe that pattern but it looks really cool it reminds me of feathers and right over here we've got a six inch planter full of philodendron micans um really like this a lot this one i believe is for 12.99 and you can't beat a full you know potted up philodendron micans mine has been growing very well for me and i just love the velvety um, texture of the leaves for 12.99 you can buy this at kroger so for my local plant foldies and viewers and subscribers in the dallas fort worth area um, definitely check out your Kroger and if you guys find some cool plants and this just goes across for anybody like look at this this is one of my favorite type of Aglonema and this is an Aglonema Etta Rose for $19.99 or actually not $19.99 this is for um, $12.99 that's actually not a bad price at all for a fairly large Aglonema this would typically sell in the 24 range 
So like really cool to be able to find this aglaonema. Unfortunately, I am not gonna buy this aglaonema today. I've seen this aglaonema at Kroger, so it's not like they're gonna run out. Um, it's just a matter of catching them during their restocks. I've talked to a couple of um, florists in Kroger and they typically said their restocks happen on Tuesday. And that's exciting because on Tuesday, I am always off. Tuesdays are my day off from work. So I'm excited to see about possibly getting some more plants at Kroger. But this one right over here is another gorgeous looking palm. Um, I like that a lot. It looks like um, fish fins, like the fish tails. I think that's super cool as well. And I don't know all of the plant care tips for this. All I know is, if since it's a palm, it's probably gonna require some more brighter like indirect conditions. So just FYI on that. And then obviously this um, Alocasia Black Velvet, um, very nice looking one, I love it. And for an Alocasia, you would think I'd be a little bit more fearful when it comes to like taking them in my home. But this time around, I haven't had a lot of issues with my Alocasia. They've been doing very well for me and this one is for $19.99, so this one's a little bit pricey. I would go with the Grower's Bench one, Alocasias that you can find at Walmart. Um, they're for $17.97 versus $19.99. Um, but if you want to buy this black Alocasia, I mean, by all means, I would definitely pick it up if I was my cup of tea, but today it's not. It's not that I don't like the plant, it's more of just a price tag. So right over here, we've got another Epipremnum Arium Enjoy. Beautiful, beautiful variegation. I mean, how do you not grow this in your um, personal collection at home? This is for $12.99. Um, I've got about two of these, but I want to go to Plants and Planters, which is a local plant nursery out in Richardson, Texas. Or Plano, Texas. I'm not 100% sure, but... Um, they have Enjoy Pothos hanging baskets for $29.99 and they are trailing. And since I am able to now start growing hanging baskets in my home, because I found a command strip type hook that can hold 33 pounds and I bought it on Amazon, I'm a little bit more adventurous. But you can see right here is another Begonia Rex for $12.99. And notice how the Begonia Rex is really thickening up in the the just the bottom part it looks like it's starting to get woody but look at how gorgeous this begonia rex is now again for the care tip that i would say number one care tip for begonia rex begonia is do not get the stems or the wall um, or the um, actual leaves with water it will just die it will just shrivel up crisp up it just won't do well and that's how you can kill um, a begonia rex and then also with begonia rex just like um, african violets how they don't like to have their leaves wet or they rot um, the best way to pretty much water a rex begonia is to bottom water it just let it bottom water and soak so basically if you are new to the term bottom watering what you want to do is basically take a saucer fill it up with water and just stick the entire plant on and let it submerge and just let it sit there so it can just actually pick up the um you know pick up the the water that's just how you would water it and actually it's a good thing because um if you want to prevent the top from like fully getting wet and preventing um you know gnats fungus gnats fungus gnats are actually another pest that um plague a lot of like people's um plant collections if you top water and get the soil the top soil wet the eggs will hatch but if you bottom water um typically you're still watering the roots it's just the top part may not necessarily get wet and so they won't um hatch but you can see here is another plant find here is another um hoya carii variegata this one is for $14.99 or $12.99. Look at how beautiful this variegation is and how adorable the new um, growth is for this Hoya. Um, I know my local plant foldies, um, a couple of them have like sent me a, a, you know, a DM in Instagram or even commented about they can't believe they found, you know, I found Hoya variegata carii. 
yeah this is for um a really good price um this is on a lot of people's wish list plans i'm so glad i found one and i'm actually growing one in my home because i found one that was actually a little bit more lush and full than this one but if i didn't own one already i would definitely buy that today that is considered a plant fighting and you notice how they just put it in the in the crate for nobody to see they definitely want to put these plants out and you know how like small the um this selection of plants are i'm telling you there is one plant that you will be super surprised that i found at this grocery store so make sure that you continue to watch this video because you will it's coming up this one is another beautiful um dracaena though that's the dracaena marley and then we have another spider plant here um, I really like that and this one's for $10.99. I want to grow spider plants because I want the little baby spider plants to like start trailing and then look at how gorgeous this is. This is a ficus lyrata and this one is for $12.99. Look at how beautiful this ficus lyrata is. Look at that natural leaf shine. It's a very lush healthy looking one and the same thing goes for this ficus elastica burgundy i showed this in the other um clips of the kroger video but i just can never get enough of just looking at plants especially shiny healthy looking plants look at that right there beautiful um rubber tree plant now with this again with any ficus it, the more bright indirect light the better um, and these are easy to propagate as well they can actually get very large and we're just gonna look back here. Look at these Philanopsis orchids. You can never get enough of these Philanopsis orchids. Look at that. I love the peach tone and then just the veining, the pink veining as well, gonna pan out. But I am so excited, guys. Look at this. There's nobody to be seen and I can freely just film videos of plants at Kroger. So like you will definitely see more Kroger plants. Um, if you haven't already and have gotten this far, please 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 make sure you guys are hitting the like button for this video i also encourage you guys not only to like mention things on the chat but if you get a chance please leave some comments about like what plants you liked in this video what plant content you want to see any suggestions i am up for it but here it is look at this do you see this do you see what i'm seeing this is an alocasia stingray alocasia stingray guys look at that Look at how beautiful the leaves are. This is for $13.99. Like if I already didn't own an Alocasia Stingray that I found at um, Home Depot not too long ago, I would pick this up in a heartbeat. I actually was tempted to buy this even now because what's another Alocasia Stingray gonna, you know, it's, it's harmless, right? But look at how unique the leaves are. It's so beautiful. Like if this, um, actual alocasia is still available on tuesday i might come back here and just buy it because i've covered a lot of grocery stores especially kroger and i'm pretty much in a kroger every other day or every day i don't I, I have just lost track of what places i go to but i've never seen an alocasia stingray and this is actually sourced out by mason farms so like i want to see what other plants mason farms carries because they have a wide variety of plants like this aglonema mary ann right here this one's for $13.99 that's not bad but i still can't get over the alocasia stingray and you know this beautiful looking dracaena marley really like that um i i'm just so surprised like i am actually still staring at the that one like alocasia stingray and i'm just sitting here doing my voice over and i'm just thinking like what did i just really find one and it's interesting because if you pan away like this right would you imagine there would be some kind of uncommon or rare type alocasia just floating around? No, right? Like, and that's the thing I will say for anybody who continues to watch my videos um, daily. First of all, thank you so much for doing that. And second of all, do not be surprised to look in places that you would never imagine would carry plants. Um, you would find some really unique plant finds, but over here is an actual corner and i actually like this they have the what they call the reduced plants or the clearance plants like look at this big urban jungle or was it live trends um ficus lyrata this is only for 1949 not a bad looking i mean not 1949 949 that's a beautiful looking one but check this out 
280 for a ficus lirata right over here i actually got a bigger size one from um sprouts for 99 cents so that's the thing about grocery stores i think they reduce their um their plants before they actually end up dying or looking really bad like this one right here 1050 for a philodendron pink princess marble obviously the variegation isn't that great and really these plants probably got reduced because they just look dehydrated like it's just a matter of putting some water and i'm pretty sure that they will bounce back again but this one right here has probably got the most decent variegation for a philodendron pink princess and this is only for 10 80 if i didn't own a bunch of these philodendron pink princess i would have bought this one on clearance so it's good to know that this particular kroger actually clearances out their plants um i am actually looking for an aglonema red king that was like for 29.99 and look at these cute little little air plants in these owl um planters look at that that's absolutely adorable and it's not a bad price at all 350 anyways i'm gonna pan away from there and you can see that there are some more reduced bouquets right over here some beautiful looking tulips i love yellow tulips they've got some more like fruit um, cherry blossom type branches i'm gonna pass by um, again and show you guys this i was super excited to just be able to show you two um, kroger grocery stores this one is in mckinney and if you guys like this content please like and subscribe i will see you in the next one bye